So this is an intermediate value theorem problem. We're going to prove there's a root, which is prove there's a zero for the y value, okay, between 1 and 3 for a function. The first thing is you have to realize, even though it's written as an equation, we're considering the function part here, okay? And when we consider the function part, we are looking at that function, and we're looking on the x interval of 1 to 3, okay? Now, you don't have to have a graph, but if we think about a graph real fast, okay, of this problem, I plug in 1, I get like negative 7. F of 1 is negative 7, and F of 3, 27 minus 10, is 17. The whole theorem, if I have the graph there, the whole theorem is this. If this is a continuous function, going through here, all right, obviously there's one magical point C, right, where the resulting value in this case is zero. And it doesn't have to be zero. I could have said, prove that there is a y value of six. Well, there's obviously a y value of six, too. But this time I asked for the root. Often we ask for the root. So, to prove this theorem, we have to know some facts. First of all, we have to know that the two points surround the point we're looking for. We're looking for zero, and do you agree that zero is between negative 7 and 17? The other thing you have to have is that this function, the blue line, this function has to be continuous. And I can say f of x is continuous because it's a polynomial. And we know that it has no removable discontinuities, no jumps, no infinites. Once we can make this statement, and we show this, we can just do a statement by IV key. Thus, by IV key, there exists some point f of c equals 0 because, first of all, is that c is between 1 and 3, okay, and f of c is between the two y values. And we've, so, those by t there exists f of c equals 0 because c is between 1 and 3, and the y value is between negative 7 and 17. And that can be 0. So, f of c equals 0. Now, this proves there is one root. There could be two roots. There could be three roots. I don't know. This only proves for sure that there is. That's all you need to prove is that there is one. Proof by IBT.